Hello guys, my name is JB Dan. Today I will show you how to sign and timestamp a software. Basically, after you compile your program, it will create a .exe, aka a program. Now I will show you how to sign them. First of all, open up your preferred browser. In this case, I'm going to use Google Chrome for this. Paste the link will be in the description below paste it have some old cookies now in order to sign your software or in this case a program in, or, in order for you to sign your program you have to download Microsoft SDK directly from Microsoft click here after that show in folder and run the setup after you run the setup you will see you will have to navigate to the SD, SDK folder the installation folder now I already installed the SDK setup so navigating it will be easy there we go the installation folder should be located right here program files x86 Microsoft SDKs click one sign tool the patch should be right there if you don't disturb it then it should be in this one right here this is the pad now type cmd on the address directory right here now what you are going to do is you have to you have two option one if one is that if your program is just a dot exe is just a single application then you drag your program you drag your dot exe file into this folder and then sign it that way or two if it was a full-blown software or in this case a software that needs components like dll's then you have to do it the second way the first way is simple here type sign tool here we're going to sign a file but first in order to to sign our application we are going to create a certificate now type on your windows search bar mmc.exe right here go to file add or remove snap in or in this case control m click certificate click add choose computer account next just lo local computer finish and ok now go to your personal certificate right here we are going to name this so you it is easier for you to target properties I'm going to name it for example you can name it whatever you want for example now drag this into the root trusted root certificate okay now it should be local host there we go right click there we go for example now after you store this into the trusted root certificate it should be very easy for you to sign your app so here we have an example application right here now this is the first way there we go it worked now if you want to do this way the first way then you need administration access to your command prompt after that we are going to sign our 
app so that when the certificate expired then it will still remain valid even though it was already expired uh, timestamp timestamp you're going to see the command right here T we're going to use a URL so timestamp slash T this is the server URL URL now the name of your application example.exe there we go successfully timestamp an app now here's the second way that you want to use the second way that you want to use let's just say that you have a full-blown application for example right here my application and and there's a lot of components right here so what do you want to do to make this sign tool work on any directory is that you go to the path environment okay edit the system environment var variables environments go to this edit the path right here and add new copy paste the directory of the sign tool application click new and click here because I already add one I don't need to add another basically just copy paste the directory of the sign tool application or in this case program and after that once you go to the CMD type sign tool there we go it will work now just go to your application install application right here copy paste this now basically this step itself is pretty much the same as the previous step you don't have to do anything all you have to do is add a path environment and that's pretty much it pretty much it everyone if you like this video please subscribe like and comment thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye